What is up, guys? It is John doing the Game Master Guys here. Hey, it's me, XNab11. How are you doing? Hey, guys, I'm Sparks28. And welcome back to the episode of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So, in the last part, we, we beat Chuck, and that's all we did. We just beat Chuck, and now in this part, we'll be sending the potion, the secret potion, to and for us that's been slaved here at work. And there has anything fun to do because all it does is just lights up the whole entire lighthouse. Technically, it lights it up during the nighttime. Just... Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need to light up during the daytime. Jeremy and I already delivered the potion because we had some. He had Skype was acting up earlier and and decided to fuck with us. <laughs> yeah. So instead, you'll be seeing me deliver the potion. Yeah, I'm just waiting I'm a... at the gym. Since I'm nice enough to send the potion to to Jasmine. No, it's because you forgot the potion when you were at CN Wood. And yeah. you don't have a Pokemon that can fly, so... Yeah. Yeah, bl well, blame Golbat for not being friends with me. And blame stupid friendship evolutions. I hate that so much. Maybe it's your fault for not bonding well with your Pokemon. Will I miss a cure me? Yes, it will. I had a secret potion to Jasmine. Oh, please don't be offended. If you are not taking anything from anyone but me. Oh, I feel offended already. Okay, I feel offended now. I, I regret healing that Ampharos now, since he doesn't want to take potions from me, even though I worked my butt off getting that potion. <laughs> Barely. You only swam to, from, and back. <laughs> Alright, so take the potion. So let's get out of here. Let's do some long stunting, because, you know, jumping from four to four seem doesn't really break your legs, but whatever. Yeah, you're a Pokemon trainer. You don't need to eat, shower. Basically a ghost in a kid's body. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now land it down. I'll be heading to Jasmine's gym right now. Well, I'm not. I'm still falling. About to. You're not. You're not a good singer. Okay, so can you just like no? That <laughs> <laughs> thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's no trainers here in this gym. I love this gym. Okay, and then apparently the, the A doesn't know anything about this type, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> but... Yeah, because the skill type's newly discovered. What? How does... I don't get it. Okay, I don't get it. So right, that guys, makes that question. talk to, um, Jasmine. So Alright. Thank you for uh, helping at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use steel type. Do you know what's... you know about the steel type? Yes, I do. It's a type that's only recently discovered. Oh, here we go! Like, literally, she just rushed! Like, she just- I don't even know, something about her, just- I guess she's a- I don't know. Something about her, like, <laughs> she probably wants to get things over with already. I don't know. Alright. Like Alright, so... So, steel types are weak to- Let's see, so steel types are weak to fire. And... Ground. Yeah, that's about it. And fighting. They're resistant and, to... Let's see, so... The good thing about steel types is that, um... Making... Let's see... Poison... No, not poison, but... Actually, that poison... Poison doesn't do anything to steel at all. Yeah, they're, and, they're... They're completely immune to poison. And then what else? Psychic types don't do anything to poison. Like, they're not very effective. They're pretty much so, resistant to everything. The only thing that does normal damage to them is water and electricity. So, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll let this... So, yeah, good thing is that... To keep things balanced, the Generation 1 uh, Psychic types are overpowered, and they're weak that, to, like... That's exactly like, why they they made the, the Steel and Dark types. Yep, just to counter them. Good job. And I regret using Sunny, but let's use Shadow Ball. Pretty sure that'll do some decent damage. Just like how in Gen 6, they made the Fairy types to counter the powerful Dragons. <laughs> Back then, Dragons had no moves. They were just Dragons. They were just there. Yeah, yeah, back in Gen 1, yeah, dragons sucked, and then they got better, then they got too good, so they had to make a type to counter the dragons. Alright, so... actually pretty good, this is, if, even if Dragonite's the only one. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's use Magnemite again. Alright, I'll switch to... Yeah. Beat Jasmine. Alright, she has a Magnemite. Time to send out, to send out Drug Dog. No. Now use fire attacks to take it down. Alrighty. Now burn it! Now burn it to its existence! Ha ha ha! 
kind of trainer are you, you sick monster? Ah. Well, that's what you and gym leaders, you take them out. It, you defeat the, you make the Pokemon faint. Oh, oh, you take them out. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do, Jasmine. I oh, like please don't. I do that. Okay, I good. You... All right. That, Jasmine's hot. No. <laughs> oh god. Like a, she's like a teenager. I don't know. Oh. Are you sure about that? I thought she was older than that. Well, she's oh, about in her early 20s, probably. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, Brock has a crush on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. and, yeah, and according to the Duplica episode, he doesn't go for, like, underage girls. I mean, well, obviously, he'll be considered a pedophile. Yeah. All so right. it's kind of... So it makes sense for Brock. Alright, and I almost one-shotted at Steelix, but whatever. And it's using Sunny Day for some reason. I don't know why it would use Sunny Day, but... So weaken uh, water type attacks probably. And use the hyper potion. Oh whatever. It'll use it once. No biggie. I can use surf again. Then you surf again and it'll be dead. Well, since we since we're done in Olivine City, I guess we gotta go all the way back to Mahogany Town and handle business back there. No, actually we're on our way to Mahogany Town. We have we gotta go back to Egg we gotta go to Egg You know I got the towns mixed up. How? My, they both sound like trees, okay? <laughs> I'm in Equitique right now, just let me know when you guys are there and we'll head to Mahogany. Roger, Dodger. Alright, All right. I just now defeated the gym leader. Good for you. Whoopsie, I now need to take control. Alrighty, now Gary got that much experience? Awesome! Green level 31! I'm just walking yeah. in the grass, waiting on John. Leader Jasmine bed. defeated. You are better the trainer than me. In both skill and kindness, and coordinate the league rules, I, co I confer you upon this badge. I got the mineral badge! The the what? The mineral? I thought you said the widow badge. The mineral badge? Where, where's Pet Pikachu at? Fine, Pikachu. I guess Pikachu is the one. I guess Pikachu can use early coffee Pikachu. today. Pikachu! I'm sorry. Hey. I'm stuck in <laughs> Finally! Jeez, you're so late. I'll have Chris to the Pikachu oh, then. I don't, have, I don't have to go back in your ball anymore. You know that, right? I can just like flee and then you'll never have a Pikachu again. Alright. So now we're headed to Ecrantic City. So let's ride my bike there, because riding bikes is awesome. Sure it is. Fun fact, the bike riding thing used to be my favorite theme. But until Gen 6 came, I pref I like the Kalos bike riding theme more. In my opinion. Yeah, that one is pretty good. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have a favorite bike riding theme? Not really. I forgot the Kalos one, to be honest with you. The music I mostly like is during, you know, battles. And I also like the soaring music in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, the daytime one. Oh, yeah, that is a good song. I like that, the battle music, too. That is just... I I just love that song. And the whole soaring aspect in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was, like, genius. Now you don't have to carry someone with fly that has fly all the time. Alright, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, now I have four, four, round 42. Let's take this item. Find the Ultra Ball. So, we got two paths we can take to Mahogany. We can either go in the cave or we can surf. And Fuck I'm gonna surf. It's a shorter yeah, way. I'm gonna surf. I don't wanna go in the cave. Screw caves. But if you go in the cave, um, it requires like waterfall, which I have. Which you. Oh, no, you need flash if you're gonna go in the cave. All you need is flash if you're gonna go in to get to Mahogany. But if you wanna well, I think go. You say if you wanna find the Karate Master as well. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say that. Waterfall. Yeah, you need waterfall to get to the karate master. He'll give you a tie rogue, and Water with the tie rogue, you can you can you can evolve it to a hitmon hitmon Lee or hitmon Chan or hitmon Top, which requires some really weird things to evolve. So yep. yeah, hitmon Lee hey! the, um, base attack has to be higher than the defense, and hitmon Chan the reverse, and then hitmon Top they have to be equal. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty weird. All right. Now um, as I say, battling trainers. Yeah, the saying, Fisher this... has the same name as me. <laughs> Fisherman Chris. I know yeah. you fish, Chris. Fish Chris, think... that, that oh, why rhymes. Do you, why do you think I like seafood so much? I always... Chris, register Chris's number. <laughs> Chris, register Chris's number. <laughs> I love seafood, so yeah, it makes sense that I fish, bitch. <laughs> that rhymes too. Yep. Now as I was saying, this Poking Maniac here thinks this is a secret territory, even though there's people out here yeah, it's right near public. him. Yeah, exactly. 
he's a dumbass. But I've met a lot of people like that, so it doesn't surprise me. Right, so you let me so let me guess. While you were like like taking a stroll or whatever, you meet this person in front of Walmart or whatever and say, Hey, this is my secret territory. Yeah. <laughs> what? I've met all I've I've been I've been on this earth for like twenty six years. I've met all kinds of weird people. Ooh, Gina Picnicker called me. What do you want? John? It's Gina. Got time to chat? No. Why hop and I getting more in sync with each other? Okay. We battle in Wild Abra. Okay. Managed to drop it in a close match. Cool. We're getting into the groove. Bye, let's chat again. No thank you. <laughs> I love it. In Pokemon Heart Gold, whenever you get people's numbers, you can just ignore them. Yep. Later that day, I John blocked her number. No, I will delete her number. Rebellion Hiker Benjamin. And send out Diglett. Go Batman! So this guy really needs a Moonstone, I'm guessing. The, 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 the Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. He's weird. I should really give my Pokemon other love because Batman's like getting the most love. Alright. Send out Geodude. Alright, let's send out Gatorade. I should have used my Moonstone. Why don't you? So yeah, see, he had a Moonstone. He just didn't use. Maybe he could. He couldn't decide on which one to use it on. Maybe he only has one. <laughs> I would definitely get a Nidorino. Nido King, my bad. Nido King. He said to find yeah. up. Then he can have Nido King and Nido Queen. Well, go to Mount Moon. That's where you can get your Moonstone there. Yeah, now go yeah, to Kanto. Oh, yeah. Mount Moon and on Johto. It's funny, I remember someone saying, like, uh, when they were a kid, their mom took away Pokemon Stadium because of Nidoqueen. Why? I, have you seen Nidoqueen's animation when it comes out of the Pokeball? Uh, I don't think so. It kind of looks like, it kind of looks like a woman shaking her boobs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh speaking of Stadium, you remember, I, I, do you remember Flareon's animation when it comes out of the Pokeball? Uh, no. It shakes its ass. <laughs> so basically, it turns, around, it, it turns around and shakes its ass. I'm not even kidding. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm at Mahogany Town. I'm almost there, still battling a trainer. Alright. Alright, before, okay, before we, before we wait for Jeremy, there's one thing I want to mention, another thing about, about Pokemon. I like how Pokemon back then, people think it, Pokemon was, was satanic or like demonic or whatever. It, it, it was the hardcore Christians that thought that they were against Pokemon because, yeah, they, th they thought it was satanic. They, they claimed that if you played the uh, first theme song backwards, it says, Oh, Satan, or I love Satan. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And then... But it's just something they hate, and they're trying to get people to hate it, too. Just, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I have nothing <laughs> against Christians. I'm a Christian myself, but that's just stupid. You know, Pokemon, it's completely fictional. It has nothing to do with the devil. Right, yeah, it's guys. weird. Ready? Thank you okay, so the next part, happen. guys. The next part, guys, I'll be explaining some more things that I recently saw on YouTube. And, yeah. So the next part, we'll be doing something what we're supposed to do. And things, yep. yeah. So, yeah. Feel free to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more Pokemon Ghost Silver Crystal content. And next part, we'll be heading to the route we are heading next. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.